Hello, I'm Grace. We're here on Real Cool Adventures. Uh -huh. And Mike's here catching snails and crabs. And we're going to have a blast. We're going to eat them up. Mm. Under the rock? Yeah, inside the little holes. Yeah, in the, under the rock. Look, oh yeah, they're eating all the dead tuna fish. You see it? Yeah, look, that somebody cleaned a bunch of tuna fish. They're eating all the scraps. What is it called? Real Cool Adventures on YouTube. Real Cool Adventures? Yeah. On oh, YouTube? Yeah, you want to be on it? Yeah, I want to be on it. Yeah. What's, you, do. what's your name? My name is Grady. Grady, hey, I'm Mike. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we're here with Real Cool Adventures, my buddy Grady. Uh -huh. Is it Grady? Grace. Grace, I'm sorry. Grace. Uh -huh. And she just told us where the crab, her secret crab spot is. Yes. All down here along these snail trails. We're going to get in here and we're going to eat them. We'll see you in a minute. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Today what we're going after is the periwinkle snail. I don't, there's several varieties of, of periwinkle snail. I don't know, I think this is a common periwinkle snail. If you know what it is, put that link down below. And there's a boat that's about to wreck. Check this out. How cool is this? You can watch this all day. Watch this. Put in four wheel drive. I don't think they have four wheel drive. Cool. There's so much stuff to eat here. It's amazing. There's coconuts, probably coconut crabs that just ate those bottles. If you see trash, pick it up. But um, look at this back here in the background, right back there. See all those boats? All those people are out there partying. All those people are out there partying. What they're going to do is come back here later when it rains, and I guarantee there'll be a lot of action. But enough about that. This is the type of environment we're looking for. Nice, rocky structure. If there's sand, there's nothing for them to hang on to. These snails love to get around these rocks. They can control their body temperature. And then as the day goes on, it gets hot. Sometimes they'll move underneath. And then as the tide comes up, they'll move back out on the top. They feed on a whole bunch of slime and algae and all types of stuff, and they're delicious. So I guess we just need to go down there, crawl around, grab some snails, and then cook them. Oh, look at this, hermit crab. Sorry, little buddy. Now, it's also really important that you wear shoes or some type, something that you don't care about because they're going to get torn up on these rocks. What I'm going to do is we're just going to grab probably a half a pound or a pound of these, enough to cook and make a meal. So you could, a lot of you have asked us to do catch, clean, and cook, so we're going to do that right now. But these things are everywhere. You just have to let your eyes adjust. Come down here. There's literally thousands, hundreds of thousands of millions of billions of trillions of these snails. And if you just watch, they're super camouflage. See how they just camouflage right in here? And in a matter of minutes, you can have a meal. Whoa. Little crab. Just that easy. So you just come down like this. And it doesn't matter about the tide. A lot of things you have to wait for it to be high tide or low tide. With these, it's irrelevant. Anywhere that the tide goes up and down, there's tide pools. And what I mean by tide pools is where a body of water gets trapped in, look at them all everywhere, gets trapped and goes up and down. And there's a big jumbo one right there. Now, these are what we're after right here. Just like that. And I don't know if you've checked the market price of S-Cargo. This is free cargo. Look how fast that is. That right there in the store might cost you I don't even know what, but a lot of money. And another thing is when you're sticking your fingers up underneath things, you gotta really watch out for crabs. And around here we have a lot of moray eels. But that's the idea, see? So you just start looking, look at that. Oh, I thought it was an apple snail. That's from freshwater, freshwater apple snail. That's not what we're after, but pretty cool. And we're just picking them up fast as we can like that. Whew. And then you just wash them off like so. And look at them all over here. Oh, those are hermit crabs. Those are actually really good bait. Well, that's it. 
Look at that little beauty. So in a matter of seconds, I have a whole fistful. Now, I don't like to eat the big ones. Anything as big as your thumb or over an inch, I don't think they taste as good and they take too long to cook. So we're gonna try to get the medium, small, medium sized ones. But obviously you want them to be big enough to have something in them like that. I'd say it's about half an inch in the center there. And look at that. That's pretty much it right there, but I'm gonna get twice as many because I like doing this. But this is all you do to clean them out. Take a dip net, shake them out, and they're ready to go. Now I'm gonna get about twice as much, twice as many, excuse me. I'm gonna get caught by a treble hook. That's how you catch periwinkles. You know what my grandmother used to say? Kneel down and say grace. <laughs> That's right. There's a hermit crab. Oh, there's a hermit crab. Yeah. Oh, he's so handsome, he's cute. He was, thank God he can't get real big. Oh, they don't get no bigger than that? If they got real big, they'd probably come up here and eat us. Really? I don't know, but it sounded good. Wow. Check that out. Oh my god. They used to be all over, but since they opened that pet mart down the street. So you use them to catch fish, bigger fish? No, I just use them to look at them. But you can use them. Yeah, you can that. use them for yeah, fish, yeah. right? That's what I thought. But, uh... Oh, it's got me! Did oh. you get him off? Ah! Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, they can't hurt you. I'm just kidding. They don't hurt you? Okay. No, they're cool. And those, that's what those in there, crab? Now these... This one just took one of their shells. I'm gonna let uh -huh. this little guy go. Let it, little joker. Um, but this is what we're looking for right here. These are the snails. Oh, those are the snails. And we're gonna boil them and eat them. You oh, to, you boil them and eat them? You wanna try it? Yeah. Do they have yeah. protein? Do they have protein? We're gonna find out. Let me go get the stuff. We'll, where are you, right here? You yeah. post it up right here? Yeah, let's do it right here. Okay. All right. Yeah. All Come right. on, Grace. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my stuff out of the truck. We'll set up on that bench. Okay. I'll cook them and you can try them and tell me what you think. Okay. This okay. is Mother Nature's Viagra. Okay. All right, so I'll give you a quick rundown of what we're doing. We're gonna boil these for about three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Snap, crackle, pop. Make sure they're all down in there. Okay, and it's easy to digest. It'll go in and out. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All within 20 minutes. In 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's good for the gut. Oh, it's great for the gut. Okay. So we'll give that about three minutes. We'll see you in a second. This is it right here, it's real simple. This, there's a million different ways to do this, but this is basically everything you need right there. Just gonna dump that in there. I'm gonna let that get hot. I'll take the last breath in that, suck in all that flavor, and we'll eat them up. We'll see you in a minute. But all we're gonna do is see how you just go like that? You just take that out, real easy, and then we're just gonna take this, this back part. Mm -hmm. I take take that off. Take the back part off. Yeah, we don't want us to do with that. Uh -huh. And then this little thing, it's like a fingernail here. Oh That's God. a little protective thing. You uh -huh. just pop that off. Pop that off. And then we're gonna eat that. But these aren't ready. These are cooked in the sauce. Uh -huh. But that's how you clean them, right there. Okay. Same way you clean a big conch or anything. Okay. Just like that. And it's supposed to be soft and tender. Oh yeah, it'll be it'll be tender, soft, and okay. juicy. Okay. But that one's not ready yet, but. Okay. I forgot utensils or whatever. Let me go, listen, let me go to the car, I have a call. Okay. Right back, I, have a, I just bought it from the Dollar Tree. All right, cool. I have a call. Look, it's that easy, just flick it right out. They're ready, they jump right out of the shell. And just repeat the process until you have a few of them right there. Those little jokers are ready. But they are packed full of flavor. And another thing about these, Grace, these are natural Viagra. Natural Viagra? Yeah, I promise. You mean I can get all the testosterone that I need? <laughs> all of that in one bite. Are you serious? Yeah, you saved $20 right here. So you mean I can eat these and then I can be happy in the bedroom tonight? All day long, all day strong. What? Mm. That is good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. I'm serious. 
once you let people taste a sample, trust me, trust me, you will you will be amazed how this will blow up. Seriously, you'll be amazed. That is good. That is delicious. Yes, it's worth it. Be cool if you could just suck them out. Exactly, it's worth every penny. Look at that. That is delicious. It is, right? Cool. Yes. I'm glad you enjoy it. Yes, thank you guys no so problem. much. Thank you. Well, we want to thank Grace for helping us out here today. It's what it's all about, going out, having fun, meeting new people, and getting outside of the house, getting off the couch. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Mm. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. This is my good buddy Grace, and we'll see you on the next adventure.